Welcome back to another video. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload new videos. Fighting has resumed in the Democratic Republic of Congo, North Kivu province. This early morning, 26th October 2023, fighting resumed in different areas of Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Forces that are royal to Kinshasa resumed fighting in areas of Kibumba, Buhumba, Shonyi, and different surrounding areas. And these forces have vowed to fight the M23 and destroy the Tutsi of M23, who are trying to protect the, their people. These forces contain Wazalendo, they contain F. Derel, Mai Mai, they also contain mercenaries. They were captured in the video, they were recorded in the video fighting, shooting, and also bombing the M23 areas. The areas of Kibumba, Bihumba, and different areas are being occupied by people, civilians, citizens of Congo, the Congolese people who will stay in those areas. Every other day, they are being displaced because of the uh, insecurities in the areas. The forces of the FDRL, as they are shooting, they don't mind whether there is M23 or if there are civilians. For them, they keep shooting every other day. People have continued to run away to seek help and also uh, find peace elsewhere and vacate the Kibumba areas. M23 also has vowed to protect its people the Tutsi people who live in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The FDRL, who are a threat to run the government, has also vowed to destroy the M23 and the FDRL that, con uh, that contain a different tribe known as the Hutus in the Democratic Republic of Congo who ran away from the uh, crimes they committed in the 1994 Rwanda genocide and also settled in Democratic Republic of Congo has also continued to threaten the M23 and they have continued to use different tactics to destroy the rebels in the Democratic Republic of Congo. President Felix Tshisekedi, who is currently a presidential candidate in the Democratic Republic of Congo, who is also seeking another term, has used all ways to fight the M23 and still M23 is still there and they are seeking negotiations, something President Felix Tshisekedi refused and he said he cannot negotiate with the rebels. President Felix Shekedi, as of we speak right now, he has competitors. He has 24 competitors who want to be elected as the next president. There is a high competition in the 2023 presidential elections in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But President Felix Shekedi is still facing challenges of the M23. Very many civilians who still believe in him are still questioning what happened if he's going to lead us the way he's leading us today in the next five years. Are we still going to have Congolese people in, in Congo? Very many people are already displaced. Millions and millions of Congolese have run away from Congo and they are in Uganda. But so sad that president still wants another term of which he can still not fight the rebels that are destroying people in the Democratic Republic of Congo. What would happen in the next five years if we cannot stabilize the country today? How about tomorrow? Won't the country blow? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.